Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. My guest had a revelation of the secret kingdom. And from this understanding, he developed the first Christian television network in America, a television show that has over a million viewers daily, uh, a major university, a law school, all from the secret kingdom. And he says, these secrets work the same for everyone. Anyone want to know these secrets? Yeah. You know, Pat, uh, we go back a long time. Sure and do. for those that don't recognize him, shame on you. This is, <laughs> this is Dr. Pat Robertson. And uh, I was reminiscing a little with Pat just before we went on the air. I said, Pat, do you remember the, uh, the first time we met? And uh, by the way, I don't know if anyone's done this lately, but I'm going to do it. How old are you? Oh, uh, you, you, you're not supposed to ask women. I, no, I'm, I'm uh, not asking a woman. In about, <laughs> in about two weeks from now, I'll be 87. 87. Uh, okay. Now, we go back to the early years of 700 Club. Yeah. And uh, I, I was, um, I talked to a night, I was a brand new Jewish believer in the Messiah, and I talked to a nice Jewish reporter that did not know the Messiah, and I would tell him things, and he, uh, he and I would say, but this is off the record. It would really upset my family if this was in print. Well, everything I said that had to be off the record was in the article, and that's the bad news. Oh, it was much worse, but uh, but uh, it, it, this was a major newspaper uh, in the Washington D.C. area uh, carried it. And Catherine Coleman's ministry mm -hmm. got a hold of it, and Pat Robertson's ministry got a hold of it. And do you remember the title, White Collar Jesus Freaks? Very good. Yeah, white Collar I mean, Jesus Freaks. Forget Fre Jesus yeah. Freaks. There are a lot of things yeah. many people know about you. Many people know that you ran for president in the United States, but what most people don't know is that uh, your dad, he was a U.S. congressman, a U.S. senator. That's right. Uh, you uh, are related to two U.S. presidents. Mm -hmm. uh, you uh, have relatives that signed the Declaration of Independence. You're even related to Winston Churchill. Can you believe that? I mean, what a. Uh, you, you graduated Yale Law School, yeah. uh, founded CBN, Regent University, 700 Club. You were tired. Yeah. And you wanted to retire. Well, Why didn't you? Well, when I hit 80, I had been doing a, a daily t talk show forever. I've done more television uh, telethons than anybody in history. Uh, you have my condolences. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I, and I was running a university, and I had all these responsibilities, and I was exhausted. And I was 80 years old, and I said, I need to pack it in. And so I told our board, uh, I said, look, I'm going off television. I told the university where I was involved, I said, I'm resigning, it's been fun. Well, the president of the university resigned, the board put me in as an interim president, and all of a sudden something supernatural happened. It really was supernatural. There was an anointing of the Holy Spirit that came on me, and all of a sudden I had a new life, I had a whole new, I was rejuvenated, unbelievable. And I 
took over this university, which was kind of failing. We just crossed two days ago 10,000 students uh, in a university. Wow. Um, but, but, but that begs the question. What's that? God sabotaged your retirement. He did. Why? Now, why did he sabotage it? Well, I think there was some more for me to do. And uh, I do too. <laughs> I, I, but I wanted out. I wanted out. But on television, we have seen an explosion of anointing. We have seen an explosion of miracles, an explosion of salvations. And of course, this university is flourishing like you couldn't believe. The American Center for Law and Justice, which I founded, has got a very key role to play in America. I mean, we're suing the ACLU in case after case after case. <laughs> that, that, is, that is wonderful. That's music my ears. But I want to take you back. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, you're in seminary, and you hear about something called the baptism of the Holy Spirit, yeah. speaking in tongues, supernatural language, and you want it. So for, these were the days that you didn't know it could be instant. For two years, he's seeking and seeking and seeking mm. and seeking, and nothing is happening. But then he had a tragedy. His son, mm. uh, he was afraid he, he had an illness. He was afraid he was go, afraid he was going to be brain dead. It was, it, I mean, it looked like a, a tragedy of tragedies. What happened? Well, this son was uh, had this runaway fever. He was starting convulsions. And I thought, uh, you know, he will be permanently brain damaged. It's serious. So I was on my knees. He's on the sofa in the living room. I've got my hands on him, and I'm crying out to God. And I said, God, please, please, please heal my boy. And the Lord spoke to me. He said, I love him a thousand times more than you do. And you're such an imperfect father. Don't you know that I love him more than you? And I said, yes, God, I'm a terrible father, and (laughs) you are a loving father. And said, I literally lifted him up in prayer. I mean, literally lifted him up into the loving arms of God. And the minute I did that, the power of God came on that boy. Bang, the fever broke. And uh, the next day, he was completely well. But you, know, you got a pleasant surprise, that thing you were after for two years. Well, I, I, I wanted to begin praising God. I was so thrilled. And I began to say, oh, God, you're wonderful. Oh, God, I want to thank you. And the next thing I know, there was uh, this African dialect coming out of my, my voice, and I began to, to praise God. And my wife was in the living room, and she was sitting down, and she said to me, how long has this been going on? <laughs> <laughs> just then, dear, it just happened. And <laughs> I picture that. But I have to tell you, yeah. the the thing that stuck with me like oatmeal when you eat it in the morning okay. was your life story. And uh, one day you're reading a scripture. It's Luke twelve thirty three. I wish I could right. have. Observe this happening. Well, we were living in Queens, New York. I was in seminary. I left law school and was in seminary. And my wife was with her family in Ohio, and I was there by myself at a time of uh, fasting and prayer to seek God's direction. And as I was praying, God said, I want you to read Luke 12, 33. So I opened the Bible, and it said, Sell sell your possessions and give to the poor and come follow me. And I says, oh. Okay, God. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, God. I just say, oh, or just say, yeah, else? Yeah, I was sort of like, yeah, okay, I'll do it. So. Well, to, what does your wife say about well, this? Well, she didn't say anything because she didn't know. <laughs> That's what I meant. All right. But I, 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 had, I told you, it gets better uh, or worse. <laughs> uh, I, I contacted her and I said, dear, God is dealing with me out of Luke 12 33. What do you think? And she says, well, honey, you do whatever the Lord shows you. We had some real nice sort of early American type furniture. So I put an ad in the newspaper and I said, for sale, early American furniture. So my apartment was besieged with buyers, sold out everything that was there. Well, later on, I moved to a, an interracial commune in Bedford-Stuyvesant in Brooklyn 
and the telephone in our apartment was disconnected. My wife called and wound up in Brooklyn. She said, what, what are, are you, you doing, doing in Brooklyn? Brooklyn? I said, well, well I've sold our sold uh, furniture and I've moved this to this you commune. What? And she said, you've what? And I said, well, I told you the Lord was dealing with me out of Luke 12, 33. She said, well, I didn't read that stuff. <laughs> I said, well, next time you better read it. Listen to this. He's got $70 to his name. God tells him to move back home and buy a television station. That's right. Seventy dollars? We'll talk about it when we come back. <laughs> we'll be right back to It's Supernatural. ISN. The It's Supernatural online network is not just another Christian TV network. ISN offers live streaming of programs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right on your mobile devices or smart TVs. ISN lets me watch my favorite shows anytime I want. These exclusive programs are life-changing. Multitudes report getting healed and having their prayers answered. Get ready to receive your supernatural breakthrough, your healing, your miracle. Download the free ISN app today. We now return to It's Supernatural. God gives Pat a word to return to his home. Uh, the Lord gave me the only word it was to go to your home and tell what great things the Lord has done for you. Mm -hmm. I traveled down there, and when I got there, a man said, uh, we have this little church. Would you like to come and preach for our Sunday service? I said, okay, I'll, I'll do that. And when I got through preaching, he said, look, we'd like to buy time on the radio station to put you on the air for a week. I said, okay, I've, I've never been on radio before. I'll do that. And uh, I was, the next day, it was a Monday, I was on the way to the radio station. I stopped at the post office, and here was a man that I hadn't seen for 17 years. I'd gone to grade school with, his name was George Lauderdale. And I said, well, what are you doing? He said, I just had a, a dream that I should come from Norfolk to 230 some miles to Lexington because God said, I, I, you're not finished. There's something I want you to do. And I said, well, what are you doing? I'm getting ready to go to the radio station. Would you like to go? He said, sure. So he got on the car with me. He said, look, there's a TV station. Uh, would you like to claim it for the Lord? Well, I didn't even own a TV set. <laughs> So you really knew a lot about TV. Oh, man, I was a pro, <laughs> honestly. And But he, I said, George, I can't run television. He said, oh, yeah, you can. It's easy. You just, you just go in and turn the cameras on and put the lights on. Everything's easy. I said, are you sure? Oh, yeah, it won't be any problem. <laughs> um, so I said, OK. I went down to the football field where I'd played a little bit of football as a sophomore in high school. And I was walking there. And God spoke to me, and he gave me uh, a number uh, on so many thousand dollars. And uh, I, got, I got an appointment with General Sarnoff, who was the head of RCA, giant sure. corporation. And I went into his office, and I said, I want, I'm a buyer. I'm a buyer. And he said, you don't sound like much buyer to me. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> so I said, well, I, I want to buy this station. I said, well, how much will you give for it? I said, I give $37,000, which is what the Lord told me. The good news is we went on the air on that station, and uh, <laughs> we had one TV camera that had caught fire. Uh, we had... We had an old rotten out curtain, the curtain, you know, dry rot behind me. And I'd taken a couple of pieces of cardboard and put them together to make a cross. And we had a cross on the thing up there behind me. And we put this one camera on the air and uh, one kilowatt transmitter. And we went on the air. And we didn't have a monitor, so in order to see if we were on the air, I used to, I had to run down to the street to this convenience store to look at their TV <laughs> to see if we were going oh, wow. <laughs> uh, Tell me, the la last, just the last calendar year, yeah. how many people received the Messiah through, uh, through your television? About 85 million. Did you get that? <laughs> Eight, last, that's just the last year. 85 million. Uh, 
Now, you told me before we went on the yeah. air, you have so many miracles happening yes. there that uh, you can't verify everyone anymore, but you still uh, do a lot of them. We've received over 100 million prayer requests, 100 million. Mm. And of those, I would say that about a million, 250,000 miracles have taken place. I see you on the air all the time having words of knowledge. Yeah. That's, have the words of knowledge increased recently? Oh, there's been a, a, an explosion of it. The anointing of the Lord is, is so strong. And so it opens your mind to believe for, for supernatural right. miracles. Can we believe when we come back that the words of knowledge will be activated in you and in me and people all over the world will be healed. And I want you to tell me some of the secrets of the secret kingdom that, that he says he even operates under today, which anyone can follow and anyone gets supernatural results. Be right back. Woo! We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. Call now and get Pat Robertson's powerful, groundbreaking teaching on DVD and a three-part audio CD, The Secret Kingdom. This package is exclusive to our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9459. Through Pat Robertson's anointed teaching on DVD and his three-part audio CD, The Secret Kingdom, you will learn about God's 10 eternal laws that will bring the power and authority of the supernatural God into your life. You will discover the timeless truths that hundreds of thousands have followed for decades, yielding success, prosperity, healing, favor, divine protection, fulfillment, and supernatural peace. The Law of Use will help you discover and utilize your God-given gifts and talents to achieve great success and prosperity in your life. The Law of Reciprocity will show you how to reap a mighty harvest from God that overflows with abundance. The Law of Perseverance encourages you to draw upon power from the Holy Spirit to persist and never give up until you fulfill your God-given destiny and purpose. The Law of Fidelity will lead to a greater outpouring of blessings for you and the people you care about. The Law of Unity. With God and His people, you will realize that nothing is impossible for you to accomplish. The Law of Change encourages you to adapt to and embrace transformation as God's spiritual kingdom requires continuous change as God brings heaven onto the earth. The Law of Greatness. Understand how God can elevate you to a greater status in God's kingdom now and throughout eternity. The Law of Responsibility will help you understand how assignments God has given you will affect and transform the world around you. The Laws of Miracles and Dominion. Learn how to obtain God's authority and power to speak and declare supernatural things into existence. Included on the DVD, Gordon Robertson will teach you the law of expectation. Don't miss out on getting Pat Robertson's powerful, groundbreaking teaching on DVD and a three-part audio CD, The Secret Kingdom. This package is exclusive to our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9459. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9459 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. You know, Pat, uh, you were, uh, you graduated law school. Right. Uh, and, but... I think that background had something to do with you holding on to the laws of the secret kingdom. That's how right. did that start? Well, I, I was trying to find out how the world works. I mean, how does politics work? Uh, how does our government work? Uh, the Lord, tell me, show me, show me. And I prayed for five years uh, to find out the secrets. And all of a sudden, God opened to me a revelation. And the revelation was very simple that Jesus Christ is God. And if He's God, then any time He spoke uh, without specific reference to the time or place or recipient, He was giving a law that was equal to the law of gravity or any of the other physical laws of the universe. 
And so I said, if that's the case, then let me go through the Bible and see if he will show me some of the principles that, that govern the universe, that these immutable laws that are equal to the law of gravity. He showed me that this, in, 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 I, I wrote the secret kingdom, that, that there, we've got the visible, but the invisible. But he has laws. And I'll give you the, the primary law of human growth and development is called the law of use. And he gave it to us. He says, you know, uh, he, he gave the parable of the talents and the, the, the man that had no talents, he lost it. And he that uses what is given to him will get more. And it's a simple law. For example, if, if I've got this teacup here and I hold it up, I can lift that up. If I take my hand and bind it to my chest for a year, I won't be able to lift that teacup. I will lose everything I have. Yeah, all the muscles will atrophy. Go, but if I work this thing, and I have done in a gym, I have worked with my legs to the point where I was uh, easily leg pressing a thousand pounds, 30 reps. With oh a, my goodness, you're embarrassing me. Well, I didn't want to, <laughs> but, I mean, you live up to these things because it's the law. It's the same thing with money. You know, the compound interest of uh, Rothschild said was the eighth wonder of the world. Uh, money will compound, wealth will compound, goodness will compound, souls will compound. Whatever you're doing, that is the law of human growth and development. So that is one. There's another one, the law of reciprocity. Given, it'll be given unto you. The, you know, for every accident is an equal and opposite reaction. I can go down the list. It applies to everybody at every walk of life. And, and it's so thrilling to think that God laid that blueprint for us. And if we follow these laws, Sid, we have success. Yeah, but it's in the Bible. These secrets are in the Bible. And we as Christians can change the world. That's what's so now, wonderful about now it. Now, you had, I agree. Now, you had so much favor in your life. Did mm -hmm. you find laws of favor? Well, I asked for favor. I, you know, there are three things I asked for. I asked for, for, uh, wisdom, I ask for the anointing, and I ask for favor. And the favor of God is wonderful. You have that favor everywhere you go, good things happen. And, and when, you, when you ask for the anointing, you get all kinds of miracles. Speaking of miracles, yeah. what if we were to pray right now? And agree? I see you do it on TV. I want to do it with him. Is that okay? Yeah, you <laughs> grab hold. Can they all join hands together? Will you all reach? Uh, In the studio? Uh, and at home? <laughs> Our theme scripture in the 700 Club is Matthew 18, 19, where two of you agree on earth as touching anything that I ask, it'll be done for them by my Father in heaven. So I'm agreeing with you, my brother, for people in this audience right now. If somebody has a bowel obstruction that's, that you're afraid of cancer, right now that obstruction is leaving and there will be no cancer. God is cleaning up th that, uh, that tract, that large intestine. You are completely healed. There's a mother who's got a little baby who is very sick right now. Her name is Alicia, and the Lord is healing that child, Alicia. You can praise God for that baby. He's going to be completely well. Just praise God for the answer. Sid, thank you, Lord. Thank you. There's a neck muscle that has been twisted. Uh, reach out and touch your neck right at this moment. That muscle will, will, that's been popped out will go down, and the, all that terrible pain will go away, even as we speak in the name of Jesus. Unseasonable. Oh, you're so afraid. You're afraid of snakes. You're afraid of falling. You're afraid of life. We rebuke a spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. Come out of them. And may... Perfect love casts out fear, for fear has torment. We just ask for perfect love to fill these people's lives. Yes, Pat, I, yes, sir. I feel as though you. Uh, if you look in the camera, yes. and your, your gift of word of knowledge is increasing to a point beyond what I've seen before, Amen. I believe you could pray for that to be stirred up and imparted Amen. to everyone that is listening and watching well, us Let's now. do it. Father, in Jesus' name, we believe now for everybody in this audience, may the anointing of the Holy Spirit come upon them. Lord, bless them. Sincere hearts are seeking you. Give them the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Let them have the anointing of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Touch. Amen. Amen. And I wish we had time to go into the laws of miracles. Yes. But we have time to tell you this. 
Jesus is coming back soon. Get right with him, make him your Lord, ask him to forgive you of your sins, and have fun. Amen. There is a world beyond the one we see with our natural eyes, the unseen world of God's heavenly kingdom. Although the kingdom of God is invisible, everything that happens in our world is governed by specific laws and principles that God himself set in place from his throne room in heaven. Now history has shown that Dr. Pat Robertson has accomplished more than most believers on the planet have. But he says everything he's accomplished is due to the secret kingdom. So few believers realize it's available to everyone. Pat Robertson spent years studying God's secret kingdom. The Lord revealed to him God's powerful, timeless principles and how they will dramatically transform your life today. Now he wants to impart these powerful truths to you. Call now and get Pat Robertson's powerful, groundbreaking teaching on DVD and a three-part audio CD, The Secret Kingdom. This package is exclusive to our It's Supernatural audience, yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9459. Through Pat Robertson's anointed teaching on DVD and his three-part audio CD, The Secret Kingdom, you will learn about God's 10 eternal laws that will bring the power and authority of the supernatural God into your life. You will discover the timeless truths that hundreds of thousands have followed for decades, yielding success, prosperity, healing, favor, divine protection, fulfillment, and and supernatural peace, the law of use will help you discover and utilize your God-given gifts and talents to achieve great success and prosperity in your life. The Law of Reciprocity will show you how to reap a mighty harvest from God that overflows with abundance. The Law of Perseverance encourages you to draw upon power from the Holy Spirit to persist and never give up until you fulfill your God-given destiny and purpose. The Law of Fidelity will lead to a greater outpouring of blessings for you and the people you care about. The Law of Unity. With God and His people, you will realize that nothing is impossible for you to accomplish. The Law of Change encourages you to adapt to and embrace transformation as God's spiritual kingdom requires continuous change as God brings heaven onto the earth. The Law of Greatness. Understand how God can elevate you to a greater status in God's kingdom now and throughout eternity. The Law of Responsibility will help you understand how assignments God has given you will affect and transform the world around you. The Laws of Miracles and Dominion. Learn how to obtain God's authority and power to speak and declare supernatural things into existence. Included on the DVD, Gordon Robertson will teach you the Law of Expectation. You're going to start operating in the power of gifts like never before. Anything Pat can do, anything I can do, you can do better. Don't miss out on getting Pat Robertson's powerful, groundbreaking teaching on DVD and a three-part audio CD, The Secret Kingdom. This package is exclusive to our It's Supernatural audience, yours, for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9459. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina 28278. Please specify offer number 9459 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. Hello, I'm Pastor Stephen Brooks. If you want to learn practical principles for activating and manifesting the blessings of God in your life, then be sure to join me right here on the next It's Supernatural with Sid Roth.